typical video. Um, I'm not using a face camera or anything for this one, just the top down, because I'm here to give a review on the MGC 5x5. Now, th this MGC 5x5 is a little different. Um, as you can tell by the packaging, it's got this nice little fancy sticker on it. it says Nebraskan Speed Slaughter Custom. That's because this is my first um, MGC 5x5 cube mod. So this 5x5 has a magnetic core and it has maglev. So it's incredibly fast. It's really, really fast. Like I can easily do a U4 almost. Um, it has a slight bit of auto alignment. It's not much. It's less than what I had hoped for. Um, but I mean, it's still kind of there. The other really nice thing about this is it's not a ton of work to mod it. Like it's, there's work to it. Like uh, gluing in the magnetic core, that's gonna take a little while. Um, switching out the springs for maglev. And the interesting thing about this is because it's maglev, the center caps actually have to be sanded down so that it fits. So if you look at these, the center caps are actually smaller. They've been sanded down. So it's gonna be, it's a little bit nicer fit. Um, well, honestly, this thing is really, really nice. Um, I just assembled it about two hours ago and I'm already loving it. Um, there's one thing to note and every once in a while you'll get a gap between the pieces. It's just the magnets kind of snapping onto the core. So don't be worried by that. Your puzzle isn't broken. It's just kind of an interesting thing that comes with adding a magnetic core. So I think to do this puzzle right, we need to do some solves. So let's get out the timer and the mat and let's do some solves. Now before you guys judge me, no, I do not use a stack mat timer or a mini mat. I use a Pokemon play mat. It works really nice. It's actually a really nice mouse pad too. Um, also just got it, the GAN timer. Um, but it's a really, really nice mat and I think it's it's good. It's like a really nice mat. So let's give this thing a scramble and let's see what we get. Wow, uh, 214. That's a little slower than what I usually average. I'm probably, I'm just probably not used to this cube yet, but it is it is um, a good cube. It's a little heavier than usual. Hey, Future Nebraska Speed Solver here. I completely forgot that I said solves plural and not just one solve. So I think what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna do an average of five and then um, just kind of edit in the times later. So if you're seeing this, hi past me, I messed up. Let's throw a scale out in front of me and see. Let's see. 150 grams on the nose. So it's gonna be a little bit less than that because the new maglev rings I'm getting for it um, are going to be a little bit smaller. Uh, production, or excuse me. Release cost for this five by five is gonna be just about $42. Um, that might seem like a lot, but when you, um, look at other 5x5s on the market, there could be upwards of $50. 
I know the Nasia is about uh, $38 ish depending on if you get it on sale and the Volk is like 50 so overall this is a solid 5x5 five five. I mean obviously it's the MGC so it's a good fast 5x5 five five. but it's just so nice to turn it's super fast and the magnetic core is really nice like I have to tell you I was averaging like 230 240 on this with no magnetic core so having the magnetic core in here is great um, I will be sending this prototype model out to the cubicle um, hopefully by the end of the week it'll be shipped out um, I will make a video when it gets back um, and hopefully they like it um, if they do um, I've got a surprise for you guys so hopefully it all goes well and yeah I'm just really excited um, if you want to buy one of these puzzles I don't have them ready yet <laughs> um, so this for now is just a prototype um, I have I will not be producing these quite yet I still have to order a few kits I still need to work some other business related things around to make it work but once it is you best believe that I'll be making a full video on the process behind making a magnetic core maglev mgc5 and I will be sharing this with you guys so I hope you all enjoyed the video um, like and subscribe for future puzzle mod content and I hope you enjoy I think is the best 5x5 on the market now.